Hey guys, today we have Ukraine's 100 watt GAN charger and it comes with 4 USB ports. So in this video, we are going to charge through all the 4 ports together. I'm going to straight away start the timer and then I will give you all the details about the charger and the devices so you can save time and keep the video short and sweet. So we have turned the switch on and everything has started to charge now and we will check back after 15 minutes. Meanwhile, let's check out the box. You only get the charger and not a cable. That is kind of disappointing considering its price point. Looking at the charger closely, it's got this nice matte finish and it is heavy guys. It's not like a featherweight. You feel the weight when you pick it up and size wise, this is my 30W Apple charger that came with the MacBook Air M2 and the OnePlus is 30W Warp charger. We have 4 ports here with 3 of them being the new USB Type-C ports for your newer devices and one USB-A port for your old device. And talking about the fitting, it's gonna remain slightly loose as this is not exactly for the Indian plugs. So it always stays slightly bent like this but it does charge even in this position if you are too concerned about this check the link in the description to buy a good converter okay so 15 minutes in the iphone has a head start and it is already at 28 percent followed by the macbook at 13 percent the oneplus phone is at 11 percent and the watch is at 10 percent we will check back on the half an hour mark and before i tell you more about the charger let me tell you about the devices that we are testing today the first one is the macbook air m2 which is capable of charging at a max of 140 watts. The second is the iPhone 13 Pro, which is capable of charging at 20 watts. The third is the Apple Watch Series 7, which also supports fast charging of 0 to 80% in 45 minutes when connected to a 18 watt or higher charging brick. And for the last port, we have my old but cold OnePlus 7 Pro, which supports 30 watts of fast charging. So 30 minutes in, the iPhone 13 Pro is racing away at 55% followed by OnePlus 7 Pro at 26% and the MacBook Air M2 has a tie with the Apple Watch Series 7 at 25%. We will check back on the 1 hour mark. Okay now let me tell you more about the technical things about this charger. The first two ports are capable of charging at a full 100 watts when you are charging a single gadget. The third port is capable of charging up to 22.5 watts and the last port is capable of charging at a max output of 18 watts of quick charging or 22.5 watts of Huawei's supercharging devices. This charger supports power delivery, Qualcomm's quick charge and supercharge protocols. If you charge two gadgets at a time, the charging board gets distributed among the two depending on which two ports you are using. So for example, if you are using the first two ports, the first port will charge at a max output of 65 watts and the second port will charge at a max output of 30 watts. And let me tell you this guys, the power distribution among these ports is fixed. So even if in the second port you have connected a device that only charges at 20 watts instead of 30, then also the first port won't get that extra 10 watts. It will continue to charge at 65 watts max. So it's not dynamically allocating power, the power allocation is fixed. So one hour done and the iPhone 13 Pro is at 81%, the Apple Watch is at 62%, 7 Pro is at 54% and the MacBook is last at 52%. We'll check back after one and a half hours. Okay, continuing with the ports, if you use first or second port with the third port, it will be a max of 65 watts and 22.5 watts respectively. And similarly, if you use first or second port with the fourth port, then it will be 65 watts and 18 watts respectively. Although, if you decide to use the third and fourth port together, then both the ports will only get a max output of 10.5 watts each. All this may sound really confusing, so at any stage, if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section below. I am always there to help you out. So after one and a half hours, the iPhone is almost done at 97% closely followed by the Apple Watch at 94%, OnePlus is at 79% and the MacBook is at 77%. Ok, so now if you have 3 devices to charge at once and you use the top 3 ports, then the charge will be divided as 45 watts, 30 watts and 22.5 watts respectively, or max of 18 watts if you use the 4th port instead of the 3rd port. Now if you decide to skip either of the 1st or 2nd port and use the other ports, then the charge will be divided as 65 watts for either the 1st or the 2nd port and 10.5 watts each for the 3rd and the 4th port. And now the most important part of this video. If you decide to use all the 4 ports together like we are doing in this video, then the power distribution looks something like this. The first port charges at 45 watts, the second at 30 watts and the last two ports at 10.5 watts each. 
So currently our MacBook Air M2 is charging at 45 watts, which is still 1.5x better than the 30 watt adapter that you get in the box. The iPhone 13 Pro is getting the 30 watt output, although it's only capable of accepting 20 watts. The Apple Watch is charging at 10.5 watts, and so is our OnePlus 7 Pro. Surprisingly, the iPhone 13 Pro and the Apple Watch Series 7 both reach 100% at 1 hour and 45 minutes. At the 2 hour mark, the MacBook zips past at 95% while the OnePlus 7 Pro is at 90%. At 2 hours and 13 minutes, the MacBook reaches 100% charge which surprisingly is the same time that it takes with the 30W adapter that came in the box. I can tell that because I have already made a video on the charging test of the MacBook Air M2 which you can check out right here. Let me know if you want to see the test again with this 100W charger. And finally, at 2 hours and 29 minutes, the OnePlus 7 Pro has completed its 100% charge. So 2.5 hours to charge 4 devices from a single charger certainly is something I would happily take. And do note guys, if you charge these devices separately, it's gonna take way less time than it took in this test. So guys, this is the 100W GAN charger and honestly, I think I should have got this device way earlier because I have so many devices that doesn't come with a charger. So I used to swap out one device after the other in the 30W MacBook adapter in order to keep them all charged, but it was really frustrating. But now, I can just plug them all at once and never worry about switching the ports again. So this is one of the best wired charging solution available today which includes your laptop and other things. But if you are someone who doesn't really use your laptop that much or maybe you are into wireless charging then we also have a video on this channel where we reviewed one of the best 3-in-1 chargers that you can get right now. So you can check that video right here. Links for both the wired and wireless chargers are there in the description below. So go ahead and level up your charging experience this festive season. So that's all for the video guys. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so it motivates me to make more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Happy Diwali and a very happy new year.